Hello, in this video I'd like to show how you can calculate a square root using this 400 year old calculator which was invented in 1623 by Willem Schickert. The algorithm for calculating square roots is based on the first binomial formula and um, I want to show um, the calculation of a square root um, with an example. So let's calculate the square root of 13. I'm entering 13 on the left side of the adder and let's see how the calculation works. When calculating square roots, two digits in the adder always correspond to only one result digit because 10 squared is 100 and the root of 100 is 10. Okay, 13 in the adder. First we are looking for a square number that is less or equal 13. 3 times 3 is 9, which is less than 13, and 4 times 4 is 16, which is too large. Therefore, 3 is the first result digit. I'm entering it in the result memory, and now we have to subtract 9 from 13 in the adder. For the calculation of the next digit, we have 400 left. I reset the multiply to 0, then I transfer the first result digit 3 into the multiplier as 30 and multiply it by 2 because of the first binomial formula. We now have 60 in the multiplier. We are now searching for the number 60 plus x multiplied by x that is less or equal 400. Let's try 5. 65 times 5 would be 325, which is less than 400. Now let's try 6. 66 times 6 is 396, which is also less than 400. 7 would be too much because it would be more than 400. Therefore, 6 is the second result digit. The first decimal place after 3, I'm entering it in the result memory. Now we have to subtract 396 from 400. And again we have 400 left in the adder. Now I'm resetting the multiplier back to 0 and transfer the 36 as 360 and multiply it by 2, which makes 720. We are now searching for the number 720 plus x multiplied by x that is less or equal 400. 1 already would be too much because it would be 721. It's obvious that it's only possible with 0, therefore the next result digit is 0. We have found 3.60 so far. Because of the 0, we don't have to subtract anything from the number in the adder. And I'm resetting the multiplier back to 0. Now we have to shift 400 two places to the left in the adder for the calculation of the next decimal place. And now we have 40,000 in the adder. Then we transfer this 360 as 3600 in the multiplier and multiply it by 2. That's 7200. And now we are looking uh, for the number 7200 plus x multiplied by x. That's less or equal 40,000. Let's try 5. That would be 36,025, which would work. Now let's try 6. That would be greater than 43,000. That means the next result digit is 5. I'll transfer that into the result memory and we found 3.605 so far. Now we have to subtract um, 36,025 from 40,000. And there's a remainder of 3,975 now. 
So let's reset the multiplier now. And then again we have to move the number in the adder two places to the left for the next decimal place. And now we have 397,500 in the adder. Then we have to enter the 3605 in the tenth column of the multiplier and multiply it by 2. That's 72,100. And now we are looking for the number 72,100 plus x multiplied by x that is less or equal 397,500. Let's try the 5 again. That would be um, 360,525. That's okay. Um, the 6 would be over 40, uh, 400,000. That's too large. Therefore, 5 is the next result digit. I'll transfer it. And now we have 3.6055 found so far. We now have to subtract the 360,525 from the number in the adder. And the remainder is um, 36,975. Um, that's a five digit number. For the calculation of the next decimal place, we would have to shift that two places to the left, which would result in a seven-digit number. But we only have six places available in this old calculator. We cannot calculate any further now. Um, since we still have a remainder, the result of square root 13 is slightly greater than 3.6055 but also less than 3.6056. We assume the middle of both boundaries, that's 3.60555, which is our result of square root 13. Finished.